Welcome back to The Joy of Vinyl. I'm Rick Coast. Today we are going to be talking about cartridges. There's two types of cartridges we're going to look at, the moving magnet cartridge and the moving coil cartridge. And when it's all done, you'll be able to explain it to somebody else. Enjoy. In a previous episode, I looked at the different types of turntable styli. There's that word again, styli. Sounds weird saying it. If you recall, your stylus sits at the end of a cantilever. The other end of the cantilever disappears into a little magic box called the cartridge. It's where something is created that didn't exist until the stylus began its joyful journey through the grooves. That something is kind of like a spark. Now, how that spark is created marks the difference between two types of cartridges. One is the moving magnet cartridge, or MM, and the other is the moving coil cartridge, or MC. It's all in their names, and once you know the difference, you'll always know the difference. Now I'm going to get a little existential here. So the universe was created 14 billion years ago at the moment known as the Big Bang. Before that, there was nothing, and now there's everything. So how can something be created from nothing? It's mind-boggling. Something just as amazing happens inside of the little cartridge that sits at the end of your turntable's tone arm. Before the needle drops, all is quiet inside the cartridge. There's just the end of the cantilever, some coils, and a couple of magnets. But when that needle vibrates, the otherwise quiet little cartridge becomes an electromagnetic generator. Think of it like a transducer. It converts one form of energy, the vibrations from the stylus, into another form of energy, a small volt of electricity. This volt is carried back along the tone arm's wires to be converted once again into something else. Sound. That's pretty cool, huh? Now, I said there are two types of cartridges. There's the MM and the MC. And how they generate that small signal involves the same electromagnetic law of physics known as Faraday's law. It's a fun little rabbit hole to dive into if you're curious about physics. Let's dive into the moving magnet cartridge first. Now, if you were to peek into the casing of your turntable's MM cartridge, you would see some form of the same setup. You'd see two little magnets at the end of your cantilever, each for a separate channel and positioned near the magnets, you'll see fixed electrical coils. Then when the stylus moves along the groove of the record, it vibrates. Those vibrations are sent back, which causes the magnets to vibrate. Those vibrations from the magnets are picked up by the coils, and a high output level signal is created. The coils themselves are stationary in a moving magnet cartridge. Only the magnets move, thus the name, moving magnet cartridge. So you can probably figure out where we're going with this when we get to the moving coil cartridge. So now that you know how the moving magnet cartridge got its name, how do you think the moving coil cartridge got its name? If you immediately said the coils move, bingo, you're right. Everything is reversed inside of the MC cartridge. Here, the coils are located at the end of the cantilever and the magnets are stationary. The coils vibrate with the movement of the stylus and the signal is produced. The only difference is the signal produced in this setup is a low level output signal because the coils are smaller. The signal requires more amplification than the high level output signal produced by the moving magnet style of cartridge. That was a mouthful. Now moving coil cartridges are more specialized and require a higher level of engineering. And that usually results in them being more expensive than their moving magnet counterparts. Now, one thing the moving coil cartridge has going for it is the fact that the cantilever has less pressure on it to do its job. Think of it like a tiny seesaw. At one end is the diamond tip of the stylus, and at the other is either a set of magnets or a set of coils. Now, which do you think would allow the stylus to react better to the surface area of the grooves? The coils. They win in this instance. So I hope all of this helped evaporate the mystery surrounding the terms MM or MC the next time you're shopping for a preamp or a turntable. The world of vinyl records has its own language, and you're on your way to becoming fluent in it.